The web has offered cultural heritage institutions a medium to make their diverse cultural heritage collections publicly available online as linked open data. This opens up new possibilities for research scholars. Humanities scholars typically start their research with exploring various collections. This exploration reveals unexpected links between events, people and places. I'm Sabrina Sauer, I'm a media studies researcher and I am interested in researching disruptive media events of the past and I want to figure out how I can form narratives between collections that focus on locations, people and events and figure out stories between them. Dive Plus is an event-centric linked data digital collection exploration tool aimed to provide an integrated and interactive access to multimedia objects from various heterogeneous online collections. The Dive Plus tool allows for serendipitous exploration and creation of storylines or narratives around events, topics or entities. Currently, Dive Plus works on four various cultural heritage collections from the Netherlands, available as linked open data. These include Dutch news broadcasts from the Netherlands Institute for Sound and Vision, radio news bulletins from the Dutch National Law Library, cultural heritage objects from the Nepsenda Museum, and cultural heritage objects from the Tropen Museum. Using a combination of natural language processing and crowdsourcing, the media collections are enriched with persons, places and events. Hi, I'm Juana Inert. I'm a computer scientist. My research focuses on combining information extraction tools together with crowdsourcing in order to provide uh, data enrichment. For the video dataset that we use in uh, Dive Plus tool, we asked a large pool of um, crowd workers to annotate and identify events and link them uh, with their participating entities. The enriched collections are then linked through aligned vocabularies. This results in a large knowledge graph. An innovative interface allows media researchers to explore this knowledge graph and to construct narratives. Let's have a closer look at the interface. We start our exploration by typing the Dutch word for skating, schaatsen. It immediately shows a number of entities that match this search query, including persons, places and events. We can further filter on the type of entities, for example on events. We can further reduce our search results using the timeline interface. We can explore interesting objects by clicking on them and actually see the objects themselves, in this case a news bulletin. We can add this entity to our search exploration path, which appears on the left. Related entities show up beneath the current entity and these include persons, and places and media objects. Let's have a closer look at one of the related entities, the person Kees Broekman. Here we find news items related to this person and again we find more objects that are related to this specific person that we selected. Through this exploration we build a search exploration path. We can save this path and share it with researchers or load existing ones. Let's have another look. In this case a path around shipping wharfs in Rotterdam. This search paths include events, objects, persons and places. And for example, this media object, but also a video. It furthermore includes persons that are related to this video. We can now follow this serendipitous path made by another researcher and expand on it. Dive Plus allows researchers to browse interconnected heterogeneous collections in an intuitive and innovative way. The tool exposes unexpected relations between entities and media objects. It allows researchers to construct and share navigation paths to develop research narratives. Why not take a dive today?